It's Tech Tuesday, trying to remember the normal procedure for an episode. It's been a while. I'm the witty humor guy, right? Okay, I'm Liam Spore. Number five. The PS3 is set to go 3D by 2011, and we can only hope one giant acronym is formed with 3D PS3 in 2011. This estimation is no rumor, but was leaked from a recent conference between Sony and its investors, or something, some guys in suits, who cares. The important thing is, this won't be a new PS3, but a universal software update that will work, apparently, on all PS3s. Yes, you will need to get a Sony 3D capable TV and the glasses, which sort of don't exist yet, but hey, at least you won't have to buy a new PS3, at least not until they make the PS4 in a few years. Number four, Palm is coming to Verizon and they get a plus. Yeah, a plus. Plus what? I don't know, maybe plus a cookie? I hope it's a cookie. Anyway, the Pre and Pixie are set to come to Verizon in the next few months, meaning that a major chunk of Palm's CES conference will feature this big move. But the two phones will both be getting a plus tacked on their name from the new carrier. This may just mean they'll have some new Verizon apps or something, but hopefully it involves boosts in battery and speed to counter the 3GS boosts from last year. Seems like Verizon is trying to build an army of smartphones to battle the iPhone. I have an idea for you, Verizon. Get the iPhone. Number three, Microsoft seems to have given up on keeping some stuff secret. They just put out a one ad for a head programmer to lead a department aimed at designing Xbox Live games for mobile users. Take a wild guess at what that means. Still wondering? Well, it means that Microsoft is finally trying to port live over to mobile devices. If this means games for yet to be announced gaming device to battle the PS3, DSi, and iPod Touch, or simply a software for mobile phones, it's still a mystery, but it's clear that they are aiming to recreate the Xbox experience on the go. Recreating and extending are two different things. If this new mobile gaming will let you play COD with console gamers, or if it's going to be a separate tie-in with a subgroup type of live, is also a mystery. I was just able to make a whole story out of a one-line job listing and some speculation. Go me. Number two, the Nexus One, the true Google phone, the phone that will end all phones. Oh what, it's, it's just another HTC Android with special interface? Hmm, well I guess Google is holding off on killing all wireless companies or whatever the Google phone was supposed to do. If you're confused, here's a quick update. Over the break, Google randomly gave out a bunch of these Nexus One phones to their employees. Naturally, the interwebs exploded with rumors that was going to be a free, unlocked phone running what Android was supposed to be and handled all by Google, from manufacturing to service. Sadly, this Nexus monster quickly showed itself as just another HTC Android phone with some special interface that you can get on T-Mobile for about $180. If it had been this legendary free phone, it was rumored that it may take down the current wireless plan market that basically every phone on Earth works on. Guess Skynet, I mean Google, is sitting this round out and waiting until 2011 to take over the free market. Number one, the Apple tablet, I mean the iSlate. They are calling it a slate now. It's set to be announced on January 26th, we hope, again. The last few weeks have dumped tons of rumors onto the interwebs, giving us a pretty good idea of what may be coming. A 10-inch multi-touch tablet that runs a modified version of the iPhone OS. There will be models with Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi and 3G, and will probably match the netbook specs with a gig of RAM, 120-ish gigs of hard drive, and an Atom CPU powering it. The nearly one-year delay is blamed on the replacement of the original screen with an OLED screen, and the use of the new Intel Pine Trail chips. Hopefully this amazing bit of tech will come in at under $900, but that is still to be seen. Although the event is set for this month, units probably won't ship till April, May. Of course, all of this is total speculation and rumor, so don't get your little Apple hopes up that Steve actually gets up there and shows it off. Only the world of gadgets can make press conferences get so dramatic and exciting. That's all for this week. CES 010 is coming this weekend, so naturally I'll have a special on the big announcements next week. It will be called the Super Electronic Wiretastic Battle of Gear, the Race to 3D Format War Gadgetthon 010, working title. You can remember all that? I hope so. See you next week for the Super La 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 La. You get the point. 